Welcome back to this episode of the Pedrosa Travel Show. In this episode, we're going to continue our journey to the Cabot Yerxa Pueblo. In our last episode, we went to the Cabot Yerxa, very eclectic Pueblo home, and saw how his home was built right into the middle of a mountain with just hand tools in the middle of the blazing desert. In this episode, we're going to be taking a walk around the grounds and see how beautiful the desert really can be. Many think of the desert to be nothing but sand dunes, but as these flowers show, the desert can often be a bit of a mystery. To get the best part, you just need to know how to unlock her secrets. Cabot knew this, and being a spiritualist, he believed in being part of the place that he was in. And for that reason, all the plants on the grounds of the Pueblo were native to California. In 1925, Cabot went on his amazing trip around the world that eventually landed him in France, which, as it is now, was known for being for artists. Cabot believed he could recreate an artist colony out in the desert and made arrangements by creating many guest cottages on the property. So this building here is called the Studio House. And Cabot would encourage people to come and stay out here, especially if you were kind of an artsy person. And so he would invite people to stay. And then, of course, back then, you would stay for a long time. And so right behind the main house here is the studio house. And this is where you could stay if you were visiting the cabin. It's a little bit run down now. Well, check out that outhouse. Rough accommodations, but you can make it. Going back up into the back of the property here. And the cactus are in bloom right now, so it's beautiful back here. Lots of cool stuff to see. I love all the flowers out here. It's a five acre property out here. There's so much to see. Let's see old highway signs there. Let's see, we're about 13 miles away from Palm Springs. It says here after Cabot Yerkes' discovery of both hot and cold water, businesses grew around this special resource. These two outdoor signs are the remnants of some of the unique advertising of the day. So what do we have we here? We have Lorraine Manor Spa. Mineral water from our own deep well. And then here we have the Alley Bee. Kind of retro sign there. Cabot Yerkes' claim to fame was finding the mineral water that makes Desert Hot Springs the spa destination that it is today. On the property, there were two wells. The hot water well was close to the house, and the cold water well was here at the top of the property, where you get gorgeous views of the San Jacinto Valley. If you haven't heard of the San Jacinto Valley, you might have heard of Coachella, which is basically the same valley. And out in the distance, I can see the windmills. So that is pretty crazy. And this is overlooking in the property. We can see some of the backside of the house. This is where I was inside before. There's definitely a lot more to this house that's now open. I can see up on the top that there's rooms and whatnot that have not been explored for a long time. So the grounds out here are fascinating. Got an interesting obelisk here. Sure I'll figure out more of that. And there's the tool house. The tool house where Mr. Cabot painted all of his tools green. According to legend, Cabot Yerksa was a very generous man, but he had a problem with people returning his tools, so he painted them all green. He said he did this so he always knew which tools were his. Most of these tools are rusted out, but if you look on this pump, you can still see a little bit of green paint. People think the desert is always hot, but these little heaters show that it is not. In fact, the desert can often be very cold. Basically, the way these heaters work is you fill them up with coal and heat them up 
so they keep your room warm during the night. So this area here is known as the Meditation Garden. And this garden was built by the second owner, which was Cole Irene. And he built it to complement the Pueblo style house. So this would not be originally here, but it's so that you can enjoy the peace of this area. And I, I do agree. All the, the landscaping here is amazing here. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour here of the Cabot Pueblo House Museum. I certainly enjoyed this museum. Hope you do too. If you come, I would suggest you come between October and May 31st. I think they close after May 31st because it just gets too hot out here in the desert in the summertime. So you'll want to visit between October and May. And the price of admission was $13. Or you could just tour the grounds for free at any time. They're open from 9 to 4 most days. So thank you for coming along on the adventure. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.